Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video features my friend Cece and I'll leave her Instagram down below so don't forget to give her a follow. Cece does have blue highlights in her hair so I wanted to match her hair with her makeup and so I decided to go with the cool tone smoky eye. It is on the dramatic side so you can wear this for a night out or just wear it to feel good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Starting off this makeup look, I'm taking clips and clipping her hair back so her hair doesn't get in the way of me applying her makeup. Now I'm first going in with the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion and I love this lotion because it's very lightweight on the skin and it's good for underneath makeup but it also includes um, sunscreen with SPF of 30 which is great to protect your face at all times from the sun. Now I'm taking the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream and I am lightly tapping that under the eyes and on her eyelid. Now going in with the Mari Badescu Facial Spray, I'm giving her face a quick spritz. Following that, I'm going in with the Jade Facial Roller and I'm depuffing the lymphatic system in her face and just getting the blood pumping just to prep that for the makeup. Now I'm placing eye patches underneath her eye just to catch the fallout since we are doing a dramatic look and we're doing the eyes first before the face. Now I'm just going in with concealer to prep the eyes for the eyeshadow. I'm blending that and then I will set that down with Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Setting the eyelids down with powder will help blend the eyeshadows more seamlessly once we get to the eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Neutrals Shadow Palette and I'm taking a cool tone brown eyeshadow and I am buffing that in the crease as a good outline shape for the rest of the shadow. Now I'm taking a slightly darker cool tone brown shadow and I am placing that once again in the crease and in the outer V just to emphasize the eyes and make them a little bit more dramatic. Now I'm going in with the pencil brush and taking that matte black eyeshadow and I am taking that and buffing that in the outer V and I'm blending that with the other shadows. Now I'm going in with the original brown shade and a big fluffy brush and I'm just blending everything so there's no harsh lines. Now taking any facial spray, I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I am spraying a flat brush and I'm going in with this silvery green eyeshadow. And I'm placing that shade in the center of her lid and now I'm going in with another flat shader brush and I'm mixing those two colors and I'm placing that in the inner corner and the inner part of the lid. Now to further emphasize the inner corner, I'm just taking that white shimmery shade. Now I'm going in with Maybelline New York Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black and I am just making a thin line across the lash line just to emphasize the eye. Now going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara in black, I'm giving the top lashes a good coat of mascara. Now I'm going in with this style little black dress from Kiss Lashes and I am applying false lashes and securing them to the lash line. Now I'm going in and I am lightly clamping her real lashes with the falsies so they appear more natural. Now I'm going back in with the mascara just to give the falsies a good coat. And I'm going in with this liquid liner from Stila and I am just going across the lash line just to cover up any glue and to make it look more seamless. Now I'm going to be gently removing the eyeshadow guards and I'm going to take some micellar water and just wipe underneath just to get any excess fallout. Now I'm going in with the NYX Pore Filler Primer and I am placing that in her T-zone to prep her face before foundation. Now I'm going in with the Josie Maron Argan Daily Moisturizer Tinted SPF. This was the first time me ever using this product. I loved it. It was super lightweight 
But because her eyes were more dramatic, I had to go in with another foundation. So I added a little bit of the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Foundation. Um, just to add a little bit more coverage and to tie the whole look in. Now going in with concealer, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Peach Corrector. And I'm doing this underneath her eyes before I go with concealer just to cancel out any purple or blue undertones. Now I'm going in with the Josie Maron Argan Oil Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and I'm placing that underneath the eyes and anywhere on the face I would like to highlight. And I'm going back in with the foundation brush and I am blending that so it's all seamless. Now I'm just adding a little bit more concealer wherever um, areas need a little bit more coverage and I'm going ahead and blending that out. Now I'm going into contour and I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade medium beige and in chestnut and I am placing that on the perimeters of her face where the sun would naturally hit. Now going back in with foundation brush and with the Real Techniques stippling brush, I am just blending that seamlessly and making it look as natural as possible to blend in with the concealer and the foundation that we already have on top. Now to blend out the nose contour, I'm going in with a smaller stippling brush and I'm making sure that there are no harsh lines. Now after I applied all the cream products, we have to go in and set that and I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I am taking that with the wet sponge and I am going and baking underneath her eyes and in her T-zone and then taking a fluffy brush and taking more powder and setting the perimeters of her face. Now going in with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer in shade 02 Medium, I am going in and I am contouring her face and just setting down the cream contour that we already have. Now to bring some life back into the face, I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics 10 Color Blush Palette and I'm mixing those two and applying them to the apples of her cheeks. Now after applying all those powders, I'm going with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then I'm going in with the Mari Badescu Skincare Lip Balm and just nourishing her lips before we go in with the lipstick. Now to highlight her face, I'm going in with the Mary Luminizer and I'm placing that on the highest points of her face just to make her look radiant and glowy. Now going back in with the Estee Lauder Lengthening Mascara, I'm just giving her bottom lashes a good coat. Cece already has amazing brows with great structure, but just to fill in a little bit of the sparse areas, I'm going in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. Now to set down her eyebrow hairs, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Eyebrow Gel. Now going back in with the Mary Luminizer, I'm taking a little detailer brush and I'm highlighting the brow bone and the inner corner. Now onto her lips, I'm first going in with the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in shade x Berry, and I am just placing that all over her lips. And then secondly, I'm going in with the Jordana Lip Liner in shade Baby Berry and I am just outlining her lips to further emphasize the shape. And lastly, I'm applying the Soap and Glory Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Plums Up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how the look turned out on CC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.